So, uh, Steve, tell us what your situation was like before you came to work with us. Um, I had initially picked up uh, an injury um, playing football, which was the start of uh, sort of a, a downhill spiral of picking up other injuries through twisting my ankle. It uh, started affecting my knee and my hip. Um, and I was having physio, um, acupuncture, etc. anything to try and resolve this issue. Um, and it wasn't really getting any better. Um, and then uh, my wife, who was already seeing you, um, advised that I should go and see you, um, that, I, that you could help. Um, and that's when I went to see you to, to look at dynamic stretching and see if that, that was going to be a way to, 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 to help with the, with the injury. Um, but as it's and happened, did, it's, sorry, gone. And did you have any kind of reservations about trying it out? How are you feeling at, at that point before you decided to train with us? I suppose I always have reservations about anything that's, that's new. Actually, I wouldn't say reservations. It's, it's just you get, I think you get into, you know, I've been training on and off for 25, 30 years, um, but probably 30, 30 years of experience, was it 30 years of bad habits? And I think that's the, that's the issue is whether actually it's to go to somebody who knows what they're talking about and actually look at you and what you're doing um, and tell you whether you're doing things right or wrong. Um, and so... I was kind of looking forward to that actually because I I knew I, I know from my, uh, doing swimming lessons and things like that that as much as you think that you know what you're you're talking about always um, you can always learn something something new. Great. And what was that learning uh, journey like for you? What kind of you know once you decided to to get going? I think. Um, it, it was really to do with my 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 core strength. Um, so I've always had you know, relatively good upper body strength through training. Um, I'm generally I'm quite light, so I've always thought you know that's helpful. Um, but it was quite obvious as soon as I started working with you that I'm lacking in 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 the core strength, and which is going to you know prevent me from getting injured. As I get older, and I'm not I'm not getting any younger. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess none of us are. Um, and what what do you feel were the kind of things that were the most benefit during the coaching for you? Um, I think it's one of the things that's been well. There's lots of things, but one thing that springs to mind is just positioning or understanding of my own body in terms of how I position myself and um, I, even this morning so for the, for the first time in a, in a long time I did a bit of hit training with weights now all the time I was seeing you I hadn't done that but when I went back to it today I was back on my heels I was standing in a different position I was trying to get my core balance better and I would never have thought about that before. It just wouldn't have come into my consciousness. I would have picked up my dumbbells and I would have gone for it. Um, so, and the, 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 the balance, the distribution of weight through, through, through my feet, um, I would never have thought about things like that before. So that's been helpful. And I think it will be beneficial you know, moving forward. So it's not only shifted your... Um thinking and positioning in you know the exercise that we did together in the rehabilitation program but also in that bigger picture of your yeah. training as well yeah great yeah. So, thanks yeah. for sharing that yeah. and what about the sort of um the nutritional side of things so the nutritional side i would have um i, I hadn't even thought of um because i've always been a <laughs> typical um i train as hard as i can so i can eat what i want um, and I just still do to some extent, but I think about it more. Um, so just about, whereas before, and I said to you right at the beginning, my, my go-to is I'll just have a sandwich and it's bread. Um, and, you know, it's not that I know that eating too much bread isn't, isn't great for you. I just, 
I don't know, you just need somebody, somebody, sometimes you just need somebody to, to help and tell you um, what things can be beneficial and then you can, you can make choices. Um, and that's what I've done. And, and so it is helping. Yeah, so just helping you eat more mindfully, I guess, and think through. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, I would never have had salads at lunchtime. Um, I'm very occasionally, I might do in the summer, but um, it's not something I would have ever prepared myself. And if you had a message for um, people out there who, you know, are at that start of their journey and perhaps considering, you know, is it good for them uh, to, to try out what we do? What, what would that message be to those people thinking of trying us out? Uh, I suppose it's that it's the, it's the support. It's being able to see um, what you're doing and what you're doing wrong. And, and constantly correcting it. Um, so those, you know, the first few lessons, of course, you, you know, you're, you don't really know what you're doing, or you might think you know what you're doing, but there's bad habits from doing it before. So you might have done most of those exercises. But when you have somebody to oversee you and watch what you're doing and just tweak little bits, do this, do this, your breathing, everything, um, it's really, it's a lot to take in at first, but over time and over those, lessons and then when you go away on your own if that's the way way you want to do it you can take all those bits and then you can start learning yourself again because you you remember all these little techniques um and then you can put them together and you start improving yeah and i think it, i think it is hard at first because it is all those little kind of um subconscious kind of movement patterns that we're we're bringing into our conscious mind really um, and I think that's that's why it does take, you know, a lot of kind of thinking about and strategizing about from, you know, from my side. Um, so any final message for people? Um, go and see Claire. <laughs> Thank she'll, you. She'll, she'll help you. And uh, it's uh, you can take it away and it will you know, keep you in good stead, you know, for the future. And especially, you know. That's like I said at the beginning, I'm not getting any younger. And um, I suppose the training that I've been doing has just been is a bit kinder to my body. And um, I think it needs to be that way as you get older, but still, still train hard. Definitely. Thank you. Okay. No problem. I'll just hit the stop. <laughs>